Just south of Jerusalem exist two important places, which are connected to two very important kings. On the one hand, there is the town where Jesus was born. And on the other, just three miles away exists the first century BC fortress and palace belonging to King Herod the Great. Standing atop of Herod's palace, you can see Bethlehem, and from many different locations in the Judean hill country, you can easily see this volcanic looking hill and fortress of a hated and despised murderous king. This site, with its conical shaped grand fortress palace, its stately entrance, and a mausoleum for Herod's burial, came to be known as the Herodium. Herod designed and created its location so that citizens of Jerusalem, some seven miles away, could see and remember his many achievements and his architectural wonders. Bethlehem, by comparison, was only a small village surrounded by farmland and vineyards, yet it became the place where an impoverished family gave birth to a lowly preacher who is now worshiped by kings and honored by people of all nationalities, race, and social class. Herod is now scorned while Jesus is praised. The Herodium, it now lies in ruin and Herod's sarcophagus and mausoleum destroyed. Bethlehem, on the other hand, is remembered and revered. Herod, this egocentric megalomaniac who had it all, became loathed, hated, and feared. But Jesus, on the other hand, who was humble and poor, was worshiped and adored by shepherds from the fields and wise men from afar. His work lives on, his legacy secured, and his memory forever cherished and esteemed.